We begin tonight with a community rallying around a canine after it was caught in the crossfire of a deadly shooting. It happened this past weekend in Fond du Lac and an officer is on leave. And now that canine is recovering with the help of some hometown support. CBS 58's Ellie Nakamoto White introduces us to the woman spearheading the effort through her artwork. Hi, okay. Just before 6 a.m. Saturday, a gunfight between law enforcement and a man involved in a disturbance near Jury Place. Shot fired, shot fired, shot fired. The suspect died on scene, and while no human responders were hurt, yeah, I wrote shot. I wrote a canine deputy got caught in the middle. On Sunday, he underwent a successful surgery. When tragedy strikes, many look for ways to help. For one Fond du Lac woman, that meant picking up her paintbrush. We woke up to gunfire that morning. Mindy Leitner lives a block away from where the shooting happened. Very shortly thereafter, I found out it was happening right next to my son's house. So she grabbed a canvas. The next thing I thought of was, I need to paint the dog. And got to work. Emotional things happen, I paint, and I, that's how I can get through things. An hour later. Gratitude, you know, and maybe even some tears. Now the paintings hung up by what's left of the scene, a background of shattered glass and crime scene tape. You'd never expect this to happen in your backyard. Posters of the art are selling for $10 a piece, all proceeds raised going directly to the local canine program. Dog lovers are a certain breed. We pull together when, when we need to. In Fond du Lac. We're Fondy strong. Ellie Nakamoto-White, CBS 58 News.